Everybody, it's Invictus. Time for the Tainted Keeper run I told you about yesterday here as we tried to refill our donation machine. And it's Wednesday, so it's a little bit wacky. I am still sick, but I do appreciate everyone's support and kind comments as you deal with my my nasaliness and all that kind of gunk. But I am, I think, on the mend anyway. So I'm feeling a little bit worse than yesterday, but I'm still better than I was on, on the first couple of days. So thank you all very much for the kind words. And also thank you to Fixender for the meme of the day, artwork of the day. Absolutely beautiful artwork sent in here on Reddit. Title thread was little drawing I made based on Sinvicta's logo. And I absolutely love the shading on this. You have to see this for the full resolution so like shot of it just because it is so freaking awesome. And then they also said, sorry for the bad image quality. My cell phone has been acting like a potato lately. By the way, this is my first time drawing flames. I'd love to hear the Mosh Pit's opinion on it. Cheers from Mexico. And I would say keep it up because it looks freaking awesome. Thank you very much. I'd love to see like a full-sized one of this one uh, and uh, frame it and post it on the, on the office walls. So thank you, Fixender. And everyone who upvoted that one, let's hop on into today's wacky run for Andy Keeper. CJ is going to be three Juliet, Romeo Juliet, uh, Bravo Alpha, six Charlie. And, of course, we are starting as Tainted Keeper, which means that we've got quad shot. We've got lots of fun heading our way. And, you know, should be a fairly easy run. We'll, I mean, I, I don't want to jinx it or anything, but should be. Should be. A fairly easy run because we are playing as Tainted Keeper, obviously. One of my favorite characters in all of Repentance. One of the most powerful right-out-of-the-box characters that you can imagine. And, honestly, he is... He's one of those characters that, like, I will, uh, like, sign me up to play any any day of the week. Like, he is just absolutely incredible. Um, his main passive is going to be the ability to spawn coins after killing enemies, as you just saw in that fly room there. You do have to be somewhat careful, though, because he is still a little fragile. He only has two hip hits before he's dead, uh, which means that if you do take damage, you need to go grab those coins before uh, they disappear, obviously, because, that well, that's literally your lifeblood there. However, if you get some movement speed upgrades or you get some nice damage upgrades, something like that, Tainted Keeper can be an absolute powerhouse right out of the gate, and that is why we love playing him. And now, also, he is the best way, once you unlock him, he is the best way to refill your greed or your donation machine and greed machine, too. Um, I mean, Tech 2... <clears throat> hmm. Tech 2 is not terrible here let's see what we get from the boss so one thing that one of the golden rules for tainted keeper is that you want to wait on buying anything as long as possible until you're absolutely sure you're done with the floor in this case tech 2 while it is a fantastic item it does lower our tears rate by quite a bit and we already have quad shot and i like tech 2 don't get me wrong i like tech 2 um but i don't think it's absolutely necessary here Get lost soul, buddy. Um, let's, I shouldn't have used that bomb. Let's hold off on that for a second. Because I don't know if we're going to end up buying something from Gemini instead of Lost Soul, buddy. Because Lost Soul is actually kind of useless for Tainted Keeper. I mean, he does give you, like, angel items, I guess. But that's few and far between. Obviously, we're not going to need this, the soul hearts because, well, we're Tainted Keeper. Literally can't get soul hearts. So what we're hoping for here is going to be a nice... Uh, I'm not going to be able to get it. Hoping for a nice tiers upgrade or movement speed upgrade. Damage upgrade, of course, would be nice as well as some any any kind of tier effects. Basically, anything but a range upgrade would be fine. It is damage. Um, I guess we'll take it. I was kind of hoping... Well, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't think Tech 2 is the right play. I'm just going to be honest. In a way, Tech 2 is a safety net. Um, but in my opinion, because we're playing as Tainted Keeper, we've got Quad Shot. You know, the tiers rate isn't, obviously, is not everything as Tainted Keeper, especially with uh, Tech 2, because, like, you know, you, just, you have unlimited range of piercing. But it's still not, I don't think it's good enough, in my opinion, to justify over a simple damage upgrade like Meat. Even though Meat is not really a huge damage upgrade, it's still damage. And the more damage you can deal, the safer you can be. The more you know, risk taking you can you can do, and 
And I'm, in my opinion, I think that it's still better than what the alternative was, which was, yes, we have Tech 2, but it kills our tears rate, which is already bad thanks to Quad Shot. And we don't really gain a damage benefit out of it necessarily. But again, it's debatable. If this were regular Isaac or if this were Eden, I would I would definitely have taken uh, Tech 2. But we're not. We're taking Keeper. And uh, before we get any further here, we'll go to last week's question of the episode, which was the Dark Lazarus episode, which is a very interesting episode. Kind of a wacky episode as well. There we go. Let's grab this real quickly here. And I simply asked, what is your opinion on Lazarus's rags? Do you like them? Do you love them? Do you use them a lot since uh, the update? And uh, overwhelmingly, people voted upon <clears throat> uh, voted upon the number one answer coming in from Morgan Baborgan, uh, who said, you are Lazarus on death after his rework, and you want to die every floor because you get a damage up when you do. I think it's top tier. And obviously, that's also you know pointing out the fact that, like, I keep forgetting that Lazarus got a rework, and he does gain a damage upgrade. Plus, he gets his Lazarus's rags extra life reinstated after every single floor. So that's something that I always forget, and I will continue to forget, even though I made a video on it, yada, yada, yada. So thank you, Morgan Baborgan. The second most upvoted comment came in uh, from Hate You Sometimes 1375, who said, It's cool, but only because it spins down to, into Godhead. And. You know, that's something I didn't know or realize, but if that's the nicest thing you could say about an item, then sure, you know, if it's just going to be a platform to get to a better item or one of your favorite items, then yeah, that's a good reason to like it, I suppose. I, I honestly didn't know that Lazarus's Rags was the uh, catalyst to spin down into a godhead like that, but now I do. Uh, and last but not least, the third most upvoted comment came in from Destruction Dragon 360 who says, It's a good revive item. I prefer it over the Ankh, but under Juice's Shadow, it's not the worst Angel Deal item. Uh, that being Breath of Life and Glyph of Balance would be, in their opinion. I don't know about Glyph of Balance. Glyph of Balance, we've seen, some, we've seen it do some pretty clutch things, but I will agree with Breath of Life. I think Breath of Life is just Breath of Bad. Nice, we get a Perthrow rune here, which is going to help us out with our Devil Deal in case we find stuff that we don't like in there. The D Bizzle, which is not Dark Bum, but Dark Dead Bird. And I mean, Dead Bird, we love it, but it's not what we want here. Oh, we are, we are not having a good start here in terms of items. These shops are supposed to be better game. So you see the downside of having uncontrollable DPS. Not being able to uh, to get around and pick up money is uh, kind of bad. This is where you would want to have a movement speed upgrade or flying or something like that. Or even like the Birthright for Tainted Keeper, which is excellent. Um, I think we got Birthright on Tainted Keeper the last couple times that we played him. But again, he is a character that you do have to be careful on. Um, he is fragile. If you're if you're not really paying attention, like you can lose your life very very quickly, a Tady Keeper. So which is not great because like I'm kind of experiencing some mental fog right now from this friggin' sinus infection. I have I have reinstated an old an old friend though an old legend from way back yonder in the in the mosh pit days of lore. For those of you who remember the Neti Pot, I have uh, unfortunately I lost my my old Neti Pot. I think I lost it in the move, um, but. But I did buy a new one, and let me tell you something, brother. The neti pot is going to give us a huge, huge, huge... It's going to provide us a, a big source of relief with us fighting this sinus infection. Backstabber and Pogatory, I mean, I can't go wrong with either one of these, to be honest. Like, part of me wants to re-roll them, but, like, I'm not going to. There's no way. Yeah, those of you long who's been around long enough to know what the the neti pot is, it's an old our old ally from back in the day. When I used to get the get the gunk every six months or so, which is what I'm fighting now. I know a lot of people think that like they're like, oh, you got COVID. I, it's not COVID. Um, not only have I tested for it already and it came back negative, it just I know that it's not just because like well I tested for it, but also um, I know this is a familiar foe of mine having these seasonal uh, sinus infections um, and uh, you know this one this one so far has been has been kind of bad 
not the worst that I fought, um, but it's definitely not fun. So I'm hoping that I'm I'm hoping I'm on the tail end here. Um, but you know, having to pre-record a couple of the videos <clears throat> just to give my 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 voice a rest um, was vital in uh, in helping heal. And again, I appreciate the the kind words and the uh, you know the gestures of people you know wanting to send their well wishes, and it, it makes me feel good that like I, like I've been saying, man, like I know the mosh pit's always going to be there for me no matter what through thick and thin. We've been through a lot worse together. Yeah, it felt good using the neti pot. Um, you know, although this design was a little bit stranger, it was a little bit weirder than the, my old one, but this one was more shaped like a tea kettle. Oh baby, now we're talking. Now, I know what everything I just got done saying about Tech 2. While that is true, Tech 1, however, is on a different level than Tech 2. I will take Tech 1 any day, bro. Any day. Uh, tech 1 is going to give us that unlimited range and piercing, but also not give us a huge tears down. And if we could somehow manage to get 2020 somewhere, somehow, we are going to be in business. I'm not too sure where our secret room is. So we have that big time one shot potential here. If we hit with all four beams of the quad shot tech one shot. And uh, that's definitely where you want to be. What in the what in the hell? Um, okay. Interesting. Um, I'm gonna take the soul of Isaac for now. I'm very confused. We're, we're getting all of a sudden we're just out of nowhere. We're getting just a ton of ton of runes. Okay, so that's trash, and that is not. Now, do we use the Perthra rune in the shop? I think we do, because I want this Ansa's rune. And our shops have been pretty doo-doo so far. Perthro. I mean... So our secret room was there. Okay, so really not great. <laughs> uh, we got essentially nothing for the Perthro rune. And I'm going to hold on to this uh, Ansa's rune here. Degas. The only reason why I'm using Degas is so we can get uh, some extra flies. And yeah, we'll head on down. But a little bit of a disappointment. Although we did get a Cat Nine Tails, and that's pretty good. And Curse of Wine. So we get Curse of the Blind. I mean, there's no real reason for us to, to go into the boss trap room if we can't see the item that we're going to be paying for. Curse of the Blind is pretty awful on uh, Tainted Keeper. And, uh, of course, it would happen to be right after we used our Degas rune, so cheers game for that. But if there's a donation machine inside the shop, we can at least get that done. See if we can get some good quality. I'd like to get at least over a dollar. We're at 96 cents, so it's almost unthinkable that we wouldn't be able to do that. Wait. Yeah. Hey, we got over a dollar. Nice. Wow. Okay. Uh, yeah. I mean, sure. We're not, we're not using money on this floor anyway, so screw it, you know. Definitely take that. Uh, 
Uh, no reason for us to go in the super secret room, in my opinion. We could still buy the boss room item. But the devil deal is going to be something that I don't think is... It's definitely doable, but, like, why? You know? We didn't get one anyway, so, you know, cheers to us. Oh, wow, we bought a bought a range upgrade for our unlimited range and a luck upgrade, too. All right. All right. Got ourselves a planetarium, which gives us Saturnus, which... Not a fan of Saturnus. Mainly the reason is because it picks up enemy projectiles when you don't necessarily want to do that. Nice. Got that right at the buzzer. And it does it randomly, too, which makes it even worse. I would have much preferred, like, Jupiter. Actually, no, I... I don't know if I would have taken Jupiter on Tainted Keeper. He's already pretty slow. We don't get any benefit out of the HP, so yeah, I probably wouldn't take Jupiter. Charge key up there, which we don't really need because we don't have any active items. Gonna do that. Yeah, getting some movement speed here would be very welcomed. Movement speed, tears rate, all that stuff is still definitely in play here. We'll get a cardio coin. We can use that for HP in case we fall short. We don't need the money currently. Just imagine this. Imagine Tech One with uh, with twenty twenty here in quad shot. That would be mint. Right. There is the northwestern side of the map. Great one shot there. Again, if we can just if we can manage to hit every single shot on the same target, they they will die instantaneously. Unless, of course, the shots don't register for some odd reason. Time. In. Definitely want stopwatch with movement speed. We'll take Virgo for the pills. Full health. Um. We don't really need shot speed, and it doesn't do anything for us. And the Satanic Bible and... I mean, we could buy both of them, I suppose, for Bookworm, I guess, but that's kind of... We don't need Bookworm. Like, we've got we've got Quad Shot. And for 30 cents, it's a pretty hefty price to pay. Health up. Does... Literally nothing for us again. You see how fragile the Tainy Keeper can be, as powerful as he is. You gotta be careful, man. Like he will he will get he'll get rolled by a, a repentance double hit without you paying attention. We've fallen, so we're gonna get a devil deal item anyway. vessel which does literally nothing for us wow this is some this is some trash trash level items man hey robo baby we're having a big old tech party um i mean the book of sin is fine because it can spawn a coin if we need some emergency hp but we are not getting any help at all. The items have been honestly pretty shockingly bad for a Tainted Keeper run. I'm still going to go over here. I guess we'll get Bookworm. I 
Okie dokie. So we got Bookworm, which means we're going to fire an extra shot every now and then. It doesn't help us with our tears rate at all, but having an extra little beam you know, might help us out a little bit. Never know. But, uh, wow. Yeah, we need we need some stuff here, man. Like, we're not in good shape currently. I think that curse the blind floor really is what put us on the path of not struggle bus, but definitely it didn't it didn't it didn't put us in the winning path. Let's put it that way. Thank God we have backstabber. Backstabber and any kind of piercing shots is always going to dominate enemies. Purgatory as well as a little bit of extra help from Robo Baby 2.0. Secret room is here, but we need to try to get the boss rush. If ho oh, oh, ho oh, oh, ho oh, ho oh. ho 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 interesting rock bottom So this just became uh interesting because rock bottom if we end up getting something like kidney stone or soy milk or anything like that we are <clears throat> we are laughing to the bank No fool card in here. We have not found the item room or the store. And now would be the perfect time for something like money equals, equals power. Basically anything that can up our stats, but getting rock bottom is, uh, is a spicy meatball. And it's a greed fight in our last store, so cheers for that game. You get Steam Sale, however, which is going to help us out for the rest of the run. Um, we have very limited time to find our Tinted Skull, though. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Apologize, I'm trying to limit my coughing. All right, sorry about that. Had to get it out of my system. Um, also, I have a lozenger in now, so. Got a lost engine. This can be super fans, fantastic. So that will give us an all stats upgrade. But we are very quickly losing the ability to get boss rush here. Nice little luck upgrade there. <clears throat> Okay. There's a 0% chance that we get this. We're not even going to make it to mom's room before it gets to 20 minutes. I'm going to try. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to try. Um, but it's not happening. The Valiant Effort, Isaac. We got, we got a little bit screwed by uh, the placement of uh, the full card. Now we're not at a, we're not at an angle where we can um, we can get backstabber to proc on mom. Fortunately. You don't want to move too much against Red Mom. That's how you're going to find yourself in trouble. Yo, I'm sick of you pulling this crap, Red Mom. Oh. 
We'll take Athame. We don't really need... Well, I guess it doesn't matter for Conjoin because we have Rock Bottom, so... Um, could go in the Curse Room. <clears throat> yeah, that, this is a disappointing amount of stats, though. For what we've had on this run, we have not been given any, uh... Any amazing items. And certainly getting that greed fight in this last store was the biggest slap in the face. But, you know, we gotta make it work. So, ain't nothing to it but do it. What you're seeing here is the danger of Tainted Keeper. If you don't get those items that you really, really need, you can find yourself in a hole very quickly. Could be an interesting room. We get a stars card. And we're at the point of the run where money doesn't even really matter anymore. Because we don't have any more shops to... <clears throat> not only do we not have any more shops to worry about, unless we talk about Hush, which we probably won't go there. Um, <clears throat> we have Steam Sale, so Steam Sale is going to just effectively just make it to where we need half of the amount of money that we normally would. Yeah, that works. We get a penny here. Just in case we need it. All right, there you go. There's the entire map, everybody. So everyone's aware. Man, we are set up. We are so primed for, like, an incredible run here with Rock Bottom. Really is a shame that we haven't gotten any any amazing stat-ups or tier effect opportunities here. I mean, the game's not even dropping his pills right now because it knows that we have Virgo. Getting spectral tears would be very nice. You can manage it. All right. I love how they managed to put itself right next to the host. And we are almost maxed out at money here. I mean, Skullex, Skullex shouldn't be too bad. Just having quad shot Tech X, or Tech 1, I should say. Wow, unless if it does that. Get growth hormones, which is great for movement speed and damage. Um, yeah, I think we're just head on down. No devil deals, no nothing, man. This is, this is rough. Of course, with rock bottom, it's going to prevent us from losing any stats. 
So pills are, I mean, all pills are on the table right now. If we can use an Empress card, that's going to give us a permanent stat boost of movement speed and damage. And that's the kind of stuff that we need here with us having rock bottom. If the game's not going to give us stats, we got to make our own stats, basically. And that's what I was saying earlier, like, we are primed for money equals power. As we would not have to worry about losing any stats by spending money. There you go. So we are maxed out of money. Might as well bomb the keeper in here. Hey, got a luck upgrade. Our luck has been very, very nice. Well, our luck rating has been very nice. Our luck has in some victor luck. I don't know. Wow. I didn't even see, I didn't even see pin there. I'm going to use Pogatory here as our range DPS, or it's more like remote DPS, more so than uh, Robo Baby 2.0. On top of everything else, he'll cancel out any projectiles. I will say it's a pretty disappointing turnout for just for the simple fact that we have rock bottom and uh, the game didn't really didn't really want to play ball today. I guess it was already mad that we're playing Tainted Keeper, so very slow, methodical DPS here. You get a devil deal, and boy, howdy. What a devil deal it is. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm good, thanks. Thank you. We could go to old Hushy, but fighting Hush with this build is... Mm. I'm iffy on it, to say the least. I do wish that there was a more reliable way for Tainy Keeper to play the sacrifice rooms. As that would be very interesting. Could use a Stars card to get out of there, I suppose. This is not your typical uh, Tainty Keeper run where it's just face roll, face roll. We la we're laughing to all the way to the bank. We've had to put some... Uh, Got to put some interesting work into this run. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to hold on to the I'm Drowsy Pill for Isaac. As again, Isaac is really the only real danger that we're going to be facing on this run. Trying to get the backstabber proc here from uh, Tech 1 on Gluttony. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, there. You calm down, sir. Beautiful damage there from Tech. Not only was that from Tech 1, but from uh, RoboBaby 2.0. Okay, so I'm going to use the I'm Drowsy Pill against Isaac just to make the fight even easier on us. Then we'll go back and we'll go use uh, we'll use the Stars card. I can find it in the chest. Interesting little slide there. Sli that, was a, that was a slide schmoove there, Isaac.
Yeah, this... <laughs> I'm drowsy with stopwatch is just... It makes it to a joke. There goes Isaac, no problem at all. Let's see if we can go get that, uh, that stars card, wherever it was. There it is. So the stars card, it's not super important, but it's, it's fine. Uh, mainly because we can use it to just teleport randomly. I guess I could have used that, uh, hangman card over here, but let's see what this is. Lover's card. We got a reverse tower card. Okay. All right. Maybe we'll get an Emperor card. And again, small rock wouldn't be a huge deal because obviously we've got rock bottom, but man, game is just not wanting to play ball today, and that's fine. You know what? We're still going to take our dub. All right, and our final chest here is rubber cement, eight inch nails, Isaac's heart, and uh, any mush. So let's see if Star's car is gonna hook us up. Uh, it, it didn't. <laughs> it really didn't. Hey, we got rubber cement. Rubber cement's fine. Sack of pennies is uh, quite good for Tainted Keeper, obviously. If we were still in the stage of needing items and, well, I mean, we need items, but we're still in the stage of needing money, <clears throat> which we haven't needed for quite some time because the game gave us a greed fight. We had a curse of line, so there's not really been a lot of money spending opportunities here. Brownie just owned himself. I think $3 bill is okay to take. Tech one and rock bottom. Uncle Holy Water. Because if anything, $3 bill should change our stats every now and then, which might prove to be useful. Let's see if we get a damage upgrade. That's a neat little pattern. It's not a, not a good look for you, Conquest, when you're bleeding all over the place. And gone to another dead end. All right. So the Stars card got us nowhere. In fact, the Stars card made us have to deal or do more, do more work, essentially. Guppy's eye, because sure, why not? Okay, so we've got some good tiers right now. Uh, I'm not sure what we procked into. I don't think this is soy milk. It might be. It might be 2020. I'm guessing. We get conjoined, which I don't mind having because obviously we don't. We don't have to worry about the damage down from rock bottom. Yeah, so we must have at some point with three dollar bill hit 2020. Uh, because if, it, if this were soy milk, it would be a lot faster. <clears throat> Hermit card. Uh, I mean, we've already done pretty much a full clear, so I doubt that we're going to get taken anywhere that's going to save us time. You know something? It's always a pleasure playing Tainted Keeper, and we also got a lot of money thrown into our donation machine, which is the whole point. So, yeah, we'll take the win. We will take it. So, thank you for watching, everybody. Again, I apologize about the uh, about the coughing and stuff. I know that people understand, and uh, again, I do appreciate all the kind words. I'm hoping I'm hoping I'll be over it in the next day or two. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. 
And uh, yeah, thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. I really appreciate each and every one of you who support the channel. Today's question of the episode, what would you rather have, Tech 1 or Tech 2? Post them in the comments down below. Let me know your thoughts. The, the three most upvoted comments will be read on next week's episode. And as always, I'll see you all next time. Until then, so long, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. Like, thanks to patrons of mine, like three-fourths. Happy B-Day, Nash, and Dershooty01. If you'd like to have your name read at the end of an Isaac episode, check out my Patreon campaign, which you can find over at patreon.com slash Invicta.